Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode of the Trailblazer series. I know the hype has died down a lot, but I definitely did not want to end the videos unless I had a proper ending, which I do here. We have finally completed all the remaining bosses and we got ourselves some kick-ass ranks in the dragon. If you at any point enjoyed the series for Trailblazer, definitely give the video a like. Oh my god. Another inspired shit. That's insane. So many, dude. It's actually nuts. Well, do I finish the second bludgeon or do I uh, get a jar or something? I wonder. There we go. There we go. Oh, I got the dagger. Yay. Nice. 250 points. Ho oh, ho yeah. That's awesome, man. There we go. That is awesome. We just need a jar and also get 500 KC, so. They're going through more side kills to hopefully get the jar. Can we do it? Alright, it, it's time to start experimenting on Nightmare. But before I go and try some solo experiments, I'm going to go and get myself the sub 3 minute task done with some of the carry boys. Of course, the people with the melee rugs, they're going to do the best uh, job at making it happen. So shout out to these boys. But yeah, we're going to do some groups to start off and get used to the feeling, you know, of some of the ranged ideas that I have in mind and then tomorrow we'll actually give it some go with the solo, so. Damn, blowpipe's gross. Jesus, blowpipe is so gross on the pillars. Oh my god. Okay, is this sub three minutes? It'd be nice if we get it done on the first try. Oh, it has a party hat. I just realized it. <laughs> oh, 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 what the f- I got a nightmare stab. What the hell, dude? Are you kidding me? Uh, excuse me. Oh, we didn't even do the sub three minutes. Oh, we we not we didn't finish it. Yo, I actually got a nightmare stab. Excuse me. Oh, we didn't finish it. Dang, we were so close too. We were literally off by a little bit. Yo, oh my god. Wow, well, I actually got a sang stop on my first kill. What? Okay, dude, that's insane. Wow, I still can't believe I got a Nightmare Staff. Like, what the hell? Hey, we did it! Nice, sub 3 minutes done on the second attempt. Sick. Ooh, Void with Alva's Max Cape. Ooh, looks good. Wow, what a match. Sick, didn't realize it could be that cool. Pog, let's get it. Ooh, Defender. You don't have Ascarnia. One of the rare melee builds without Ascarnia. Hey, money though. First purple, hey yo, good thing you came came through. Oh nice! Defender for you, bro. Perfect upgrade, dude. Let's get it. Oh I got the blood shard. Hey. Yeah, I guess. I don't really know exactly, so. Hey, it took a while, like a thousand two hundred kills, apparently. God damn. Alright, let's add this to the Fury and get some points I think, right? 250? Hey, hell yeah. So I only lose charges when I'm using this for melee, so I guess I can just rock it the whole time. No big deal really. But yeah, I do plan on using it for Nightmare anyway, so that's gonna come in handy I think. If you guys have seen my videos, you know I love AFKing, so uh, for some AFKing things I want to do when I'm chilling, editing videos, I'm gonna go for 25 mil smithing because, check this out, look at how much XP I get per gold ore. 1,127. You know why? It's because Max Cape counts as goldsmith gauntlets. And with Equilibrium as well, uh, yeah, I will be getting probably around 1 million smithing XP an hour. Let me show you my bank, how much I got. I think I got like around 9,000 gold ores left. So, yeah, that's like... 9 mil right there, pretty much. A little bit over 9 mil. A hey, halfway done. In terms of KC tasks, but yeah, still no uh, jar, but... Oh my god, I actually did complete a second bludgeon. Jesus. Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> Looks like uh, after maxing and all, we actually did reach the top 1,000. Uh, in fact, top 779, but uh, yeah. I'm not too concerned anymore, I guess. Looks like we're gonna be chilling for a long, long time. 
Alright, so before I gear up fully, I'm gonna just test out what my most accurate setup with range is at Nightmare and just kind of see how it feels. So this is my most accurate range I got. Crystal Boat 187 range accuracy and Crystal Armor 30% accuracy boost. Yeah, hit rate seems to be about 50 to 40, 40% maybe at the most. And I can't lower this boss's defense to zero because it caps from 150 to, to 120 defense. So this is basically about as accurate as it gets. Yeah, I think the bludgeon is probably going to be the better the better choice overall. Because uh, bludgeon, I don't use any charges on my armor either or anything like that. So. Alright, so this is going to be my first experimental setup here. So we're definitely going to whack the boss with the bludgeon. As far as minions are concerned and the pillars are concerned, I'm pretty sure we're going to go with the blowpipe. Just because uh, they don't really have much defense and I'm going to be really accurate anyway, so... Nice. Open with a G Maul. <laughs> uh, that's fun. Oh, dude, freaking blowpipe destroys, man. Damn, random ball specking though. That shit's really good. I do so much damage. Oof, that was a sick combo though with the uh. With a granite mall. Okay, I think blowpipe's actually gonna be uh, the better option there. I can heal up and I'm very accurate and very quick. The one tick speed just absolutely destroys the parasites. Oh, what? 1644? You what, mate? Yo, what, mate? I actually, I actually pulled off a crazy time. Holy shit, okay. Yo, we can definitely uh, finish this off. Nice, one down, bro. That was hot. That was, that was a sick one down. Oh shit, dude, you got a fucking scythe. Damn. <laughs> yeah, here we go, please, jar. Yes! Oh, we got the jar. Let's go. Alright, it's time to make the boss display layer and add the jar. Hell oh, yeah, 250 points. So I can get 200 Slayer tasks done at these spiders and also get 25 mil magic as well, which is 500 points, I think. And Nightmare Staff, though, for that 15% damage and auto cast ability. Alright, is this gonna be the 200 Slayer task completion? Is this it? Oh yes, it is. Sick, okay. That's another AFK activity done. Uh, lots more AFK activities to go, I guess. But yeah, points are good. Points are looking good. So, I am trying to finish 25 mil woodcutting right now. It's decently AFK as Silly Escapes. And that will hopefully get me enough fossils for the Varakar Diary, which will give me uh, two more XP lamps up to the elite to speed up the uh, Herbler grind. Alright, so here's all my fossils. Got a lot from the 25 mil and the Herbie. So, let's go and start cleaning these up and yeah, start getting some fossils done real quick. Oh, that's right. Some of these ended up becoming plants. Ah, uh, okay. Well, the small and the mediums were like basically guaranteed sets, but the large ones, though, man, it ended up getting inconsistent towards the end. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully, I can uh, get enough points just from all of these. Like, I mean, 14 sets is maxed out for a small, nine is close. All right, guys, this is the last fossil that I can do, and wow, that got me all the way to 167 points. Okay, that's plenty. Let's go and get this Varag Diary done, the last diary that I can do. Easy points. Also, I uh, used all the lamps on herb. Uh, I might just AFK my way to 25 mil herb, to be honest. Pretty free, so. Oh, there we go. 500 done. Ah, oh, I can get out of this place. Thank God, that was getting an... A little bit. Eight. 
It's time to finish Gaul Wars as one of our last PVM tasks, and it's Azami. Going to be really straightforward, bone crossbow spec once and then blow pipe the rest and use the specs to heal up. I'm gonna keep it chill this time just cause I, I think I've kind of finessed all the Gaul Wars I really can, so. Damn, Zami's getting clobbed. I'm waiting for him to hit me though. Alright, I'm gonna try to heal up. Yep, pretty easy. Maybe not the fastest kills, but yeah, it worked out pretty well. Oh, what the? Bro. <laughs> I got the Zambi fed. Jeez, what? I, this is insane. Yo, how's this possible? I got four? Yeah, dude, pet rates aren't better. Dude, I, no, I didn't just get one pet. I got four. I got four pets. What in the hell? <laughs> oh, Zami Spear. Hey, first kill. First one. Damn. A few more points. 750 more points to go. That's nice. I got a thousand earth orbs <laughs> from Sire and a bunch of bow staffs. I only need one more mil to 25 mil crafting, so let's get that out of the way real quick. Oh, let's go. Damn, this could be a quick finish, guys. So far, lucky on one boss, I got worse. Maybe we can get lucky on two of them and break even. There we go, 25 mil crafting. Ah, just the perfect setup, really. But yeah, that is nice. Uh, so, in terms of 25 mils, I'm gonna go for it. This thing is definitely gonna get done. Um, and herbalist, for sure. Just because those are really FK fishing, maybe? We'll, we'll see. Depends on when I finish Sammy, really. Uh oh, oh shit, no. It's right at the start of the day. God dang it. I swear I clicked on my recorder there. Oh no. Damn, I just got the hilt. <laughs> Sammy completed sub 100. Oh hell yeah, dude. Two lucky bosses at God Wars, two bad RNG. Wow. Except, I don't know, I feel like the RNG kind of played out positive overall. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, so what happens? If I just add this, does that make me complete all the tasks? Ah, there we go. Equip every god sword. A hey, 500 points. All right, well, I've been doing TOB on the background, but unfortunately, can't get this plate body. And honestly, I don't really have time to wait for it because all the PVM deadlines are kind of done now. So the last thing I want to do PVM wise is to get the sub 75 minute inferno. Yep, the sub 75 minute inferno, man. We can totally do that uh even without the plate it's fine i think full just this year minus the plate like bandos tanking sh should allow me to get this cape so i'm gonna try and see what i can do because we're gonna go fast uh we have the dragon dart so we're gonna use it for the inferno of course i'm going to try the sub 75 with this setup here uh so full tank for killing nibblers in the middle of the room and I still bring my Rune Thorn Axe just for the Nibble only wave, because um, it should be good for that. And also if the only pillar I have left is North Pillar. We'll see if I actually get to that point. But yeah, we're not going to use the Rune Thorn Axe as much anymore, because we're going to rely on the Blowpipe and Tanking to clear the Nibblers. And yeah, I have my Crystal Armor for Jads and Zucks mainly. God, it's so weird doing this. Not bad. Yeah, I'm on wave 20 already in under 10 minutes. That's good, I think. Damn, this is crazy. I barely missed the majors even though <laughs> I only have like 70 range bonus. Goddamn. Range bonus accuracy is insane. Oh man, that diagonal trap coming in. Clutch. 
36 minutes in, wave 55. I think we're doing good still. But getting a little nervous. I think uh, the brews, I should start using more of those, honestly. So a lot of mistakes happened uh, on like wave 56 to like 60 or something. And yeah, I just panicked and then I lost my cool and made a lot of dumbest decisions that ended up making uh, <laughs> me use up a lot of brews. And I think a lot of it's just attributed to the fact that if you don't do the Inferno for a while, you just kind of lose it and you gotta have to warm up. But I still think we can do this on the first try. I mean, as long as I can clear the waves, the rest is a lot easier. All right, I'm in the clear now. Man, that was rough, dude. Holy shit, three doses of brew to my name. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I have 20 minutes left to clear the rest. I think we're good. I think we're good. Actually, I don't know. Three dose brew is so sketchy. Not gonna lie, even after the second time with better gear, such as, you know, just this year and bandos, doing this method without chins and ancients and just like being in the middle and having to perf like everything is really hard. I messed up a ton. After the waves were clear, the hardest part was going to be the healers, since that's where I'm going to take some almost inescapable damage. But luckily, I just killed them so fast because range relic gang that, yeah, three doses of brew was completely fine. Come on, get it. Yes. Woohoo. Oh my god. I'm uh, very happy that I managed to get it on the, the first try back, but man, look at this. Literally used up all my food. Oh man, I can uh, attribute this success to uh, doing the inferno like 20 plus times in the main game. Well, that's the last PVM task I wanted to do. There it is, 25 mil smithing done. Um, almost done completely. Just one more uh, 25 mil that I want to work on. I think fishing's a bit too late. <laughs> I think I'll finish the video before I, I can even work on that, but man, 58,000 points. Okay, this is it. Yes, 25 mil herb blur. Ho ho, guys, I almost forgot. I have some crystal shards, man, just chilling about. So before I'm officially, you know, logged off and all, I am going to go ahead and uh, make some crystal keys. Enhanced ones. Try and see if I can get the Dragonstone Armor piece task done. Uh, because, yeah, that's 250 points. Tony? Aww. Aww. Dang it. Uh, oh, I got it! Yo! Oh my god! Ha ha ha, I got it! Oh, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> Okay, that's officially the last, last task. You might be thinking, what about the elven, like, crown thing that you can get? Uh, unfortunately, that's five. No, unfortunately, that one is 250 mil. I'm, like, 100% sure, because I talk about this every day. People ask me about this every single day. And, yeah, I assure you, it is 250 mil. So... Like seriously, you had to do like rev stuff to even camp that for days to even get enough. But yeah, 140 high out, not even close, man. But that's it. Officially, last task done. 58,530 points. Let's check again real quick. Ah, rank 480. See, we're, we're chilling. We're super chilling. So, uh, yeah, two weeks left. I, I don't think I'm going to lose Dragon Rank. I'm pretty sure. I'll check back periodically though, but, but this is it. To wrap things up, let's have a look at some of the things uh, we've gotten this league. So, all the cool items that I've gotten, all in my inventory. So, we got the bandos and all the Zora stuff, pretty much. Um, crystal armor was really cool. All the god swords, nightmare item, nightmare staff. Tons of pets, not including the helmet, but yeah, we got four pets. I can't believe it. Wow, the most surprising by far was this one, absolutely. The most sad, probably this one, Baby Mole, because I don't have that on my main, so yeah. Gonna have to get that at some point. But yeah, decent amount of TOB drops as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, the bank though, 
uh, just quick scroll down I did spend the time to organize it a decent bit nowhere near as nice as my main permanent side but yeah here's a uh, here's a bit of everything that we've accumulated during this less than two months journey or about two months but yeah uh, a lot of progress man I'm very happy with the progress had a lot of fun for sure especially during the first month but yeah that is it guys this is where uh, we say kind of goodbye uh, to leaks until next year until next year wonder what they're gonna do now that the trailblazer is wrapped up what is next for this channel so I am going back to finishing my unfinished project called the solo raids specialist it's a series that features Huame Raid, a character that is restricted based on how many solo raids I have completed. The more I do, the more equipment I can upgrade to perform better and better at raids. If you want to watch the videos of Huame from the start to wherever is left off, there is a link at the end of this video to send you to that playlist and there you will learn more in detail about how that character works. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, especially the OGs that's been around for a long time. Check out all the different series that I have made thus far. And for the new people that stuck all the way to the end, I hope you guys continue watching the projects that I have. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, Consider subscribing and ringing the bell, that way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.